And back again with Vampire. I'm going to take a quick run around here and look for stuff to steal before I go. So while it does seem like I can come back, I might find some useful things here. Oh, sorry. Uh, London's falling apart. You're probably better off down here. It doesn't look any different. I know there's the, the headache uh, cures I'm looking for. I don't... Steal this bunny while I'm here. Uh, that's just back up there. Eh, nothing flashing. Can't steal your stuff, sorry. Let's see. So, it sounds like I can come back here. And I'm pretty sure she was that last person. No, she is not. Okay, um, hmm. Two more, hmm. It's peculiar. Follow the arrows, go this way. Oop, steal. I'm getting all these uh, upgrade parts, but I'm kind of bounded by um, the uh, story uh, lock stuff, so I'm not sure why I'm being given so much of it. Well, they're just supposed to upgrade like all the weapons, but yeah. Did I go the wrong way? Follow the arrows. Eh. There's one arrow. That way, yeah. This way. We have a bar. We're at your mercy. Will you end us? Nah. I was gonna steal your stuff. Even worse. These swings. Yeah, they've got a nice little bar here. Embankment sewers. Enter at your own risk. Tons of XP. I'm hoping this is going to advance some things, and maybe I do need that Mesmer level up because I think there's a couple of Mesmer three people that are prime for being long, not long for this world. Okay, can talk about a name, shelter, and confront him. Cause of death. No. Okay, I can come back here. Now I just need to figure out where here is. Okay, um... Dead body. Common, normal. It's locked alright. It's okay. locked alright. Um, not normal. Hmm. Dead bodies everywhere. Thought I saw something pop up. Okay. More money, I will find something to spend it on. Okay, did I miss a door? Oh, I missed the stairs. That's useful. Welcome back, Dr. Reed. Eating people, I think. Would you like to take communion with me now? Are you eating raw flesh? It is the sacred flesh of the mortal lamb. Our Lord's bountiful transmutation for the sustenance of his believers. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Sean is going crazy. I am your most humble servant. So, true to your word, you waited for my return. I told you, Dr. Reed. I was a man to be trusted. Did you have words with the poor Harriet? You make no distinction between the living and the skulls, do you? Oh, we are God's children, Dr. Reed. One and all. And he's determined I have no to doubt he us. believes what he's saying, but I think he's uh, courting disaster. Yeah. Harriet, Miss Jones has been behaving in a most violent manner. She's going to need special attention. That's precisely the reason I brought her here. To meet old Bridget. 
She's not looking at uh, Jonathan. Harriet is possessed by her hatred. You cannot let her roam free. She's dangerous. Interesting that Sean's looking at uh, the player and not uh, Dr. Reed. Bridget is a saint to the younger scales, guiding them to salvation and peaceful existence. Good luck. I believe I've learned all I need to know. I'm certain you've killed no one, but one day I believe you'll cross the line. <laughs> Logic is a false prophet. Faith is the only path to salvation. What do you mean? We have been blessed with God's eternity. We are the instruments of his divine will. We shall feed the hungry forever and ever. Amen. Uh, I will strive to emulate your merciful nature, Sean, but it's a difficult pledge to make. Give yourself over to God, Doctor. Expel your orgies and kneel before the Lord in praise. These urges. You know the hunger will never be satisfied. I've come to embrace the everlasting craving. I have sworn to feed only upon the flesh of the dead. It is now my sacrament. Take, eat. This is my body. So say it. I don't think turning him completely ends well, no matter what. Um, yeah. I think this I ends badly, no matter what I do. In fact, I envy the peace you found and will remember it. There is love and compassion in your heart. You only need to give it wings. Thank you for your kind words, Sean. Continue your noble efforts. You are a good man in bad times. Mm. I think every option there was bad, like Keep to the making him a stronger vampire isn't going to fix anything. It's just like going to get worse. Flock, Killing him is also bad. Any time you're in the neighborhood. Mm. Yeah, this is the Mariah's level up. New citizens available to kill. Yeah. Uh, everything about that was just bad. Well, I took care of his fate. I have a lot more XP now. Another corpse thrown in the streets. Someone's playing a very sick game. Well. Who is this person? in his hands. Nothing's in his hands. That's not in his hands. It's near it. I know this brooch. This is my mother's. A birthday gift from father. That's inconvenient and uh, concerning. 29 Pretty Orchard Street. That's near Poplar's District. Why would this man carry off my mother's brooch? I must go there. Actually, I have a hint. I'm going to torment evening, you. Mr. Throckmorton. Dr. Reed, can I be of any assistance? Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? Did you see what happened to him? Actually, yes. He was thrown from the roof like a vulgar log. Who could have done that? Who? Well, a vampire, of course. Look, bite marks on the neck and lacerations here. There is definitely a vampire close by. Yes, there is. Much closer than you realize. Why is it that you sound so... afraid? You didn't see it. He was dead before he hit the ground. The strength required to do such a thing, well... It beggars belief. Yeah, he's come to realize that, uh... Yeah, he's talked a good, uh, bit, but, um... You've now. never faced, let alone killed, a vampire, Ichabod. Yep. You're a fraud. No, I'm not. I may embellish the truth concerning my achievements, but I'm totally dedicated to my quest. Eh. 
You have courage, you but... You have courage, Mr. Throgmorton. Perhaps that is all one requires to face the demons. Thank you, Dr. Reed. You'll see. One day I'll find and kill one of these monstrosities with my own two hands. Good luck. Hint failed. Uh, why did I fail the hint? Can I try that again? You've never faced, let alone killed, a vampire Ichabod. You're a fraud. No, I'm not. I may embellish the truth. Fortunately, we just repeat dialogue until I get it right. I'm totally dedicated to my quest. You have courage, Mr. Throgmorton. Perhaps that is all one requires to face the demons. Thank you, Dr. Reed. You'll see. One day I'll find and kill one of these monstrosities with my own two hands. Okay, I can't actually, um, hmm. Okay, I'm kind of stuck there then. Um, uh, hmm. Goodbye. And good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton. I failed the hint, so... I take it I just can't do this again. Hint lost. Hmm. Am I able to get it back? I'm thinking not. Okay. Um, yeah, Sean. Poor Sean. Still needs some people. Yeah, they're still slightly too high. Just don't want to be bothered. Hmm. That's strange, because I... Eh, headache. I can't do anything for any of these people. Eh. Okay. Oh, um, hmm. So, I failed the hint. I, hmm. I wonder what I'm supposed to pick. Okay. Actually, it's probably a good idea for me to spend some of this XP and then uh, advance the districts. Got almost 4,000. So, healing. I might need to do that a little bit, but not right now. How much is this? 2,000. Uh, recovery. 20 more. I'm going to look around with the other ones first. Shadow Mist. Need. Ooh, that sounds good. That's not a lot of individual damage, but it's just going to be in the area. Twice the range, though. That's just straight up more damage. Um, I think this one's better. That's going to spin basically everything. Yep. So... How long? It's probably a longer duration. Okay. So I have 700. Um, health isn't too much of an issue so long as I can get decent... Um, uh, oof. Okay, so that's out of line right now. Um, stun. Can't get that. Mm, everything's expensive. Bite, fast regeneration, hard biting, I don't need that. Blood capacity, that's actually looking like a good deal at this point. There we go. So slightly more. I have another point in my ultimate. No, sorry, I didn't get the ultimate, I get the shadow mist level three, more blood. Confirm. There we go. So hopefully, some of these. What is immortality? Every name inscribed in history, raising children, will honor your memory, or earning your place among the saints of heavens. 
Sean Hampton, founder of the Hampton Asylum of East End, has the opinion on the matter. Eternity comes from those who bear divine presence in themselves. Mr. Hampton, also known as the sad saint, for his unequaled empathy towards others and his constant pity for their plight, has created within his asylum a haven for lost souls, heaps the poor fed, and gives them a roof to sleep under. Still, the asylum has now been closed for a few days, and his last accessible or orations took a turn towards cult-like worship. If heresy can be defined as faith going drift, Sean Hampton and his flock may have been turned into heretics. For the first time I have known the sad saint, people speak ill of him, and the mysterious chants heard through the closed doors of the shelter worry more than they encourage. As a possible consequence of the suspicion, the sanitary condition of the docks has drastically decreased. Deprived of a place to rest, the poor get sick from sleeping rough. Preferring to catch their death on the stars than join an unknown cult, that alone says enough of the tarnished reputation of the sad saint, a reputation that only must be restored when the doors of the asylum open once again. Ooh. So bad news. Okay, so that. Okay, so mm. now all my attempts to fix the docks have backfired horribly. I may need to spend a lot of time running quests to try to get that up. Cause. Mm -hmm. Okay, stable. Can't do anything there. Okay, Whitechapel is just stable enough. Changed, okay. I well, can't do anything for that. Uh, oof. I need to worry about the docks quite badly. This, this, this needs to go up fast. Uh, cold, anemia, I think I can get those. Hmm. Paxton, missing. Hmm, that's not a good sign. I think he may have killed them. So, oof. Yeah, this is bad. I think eating him was probably the better solution, but everything I did was going to be bad. While I'm here. Okay, cold and anemia. I have that. One of each. Ammonia, can't do anything. Mm. Yeah, that's fine. Analyze. Regeneration serum. 500 instantly, 300 points over 15 seconds. Okay, that's worth it. I might be able to find some with good handle parts now. Plates. I'll hold on to that until I know what I'm going to get out of it. Yeah. Mmm, disaster. That's not a good sound. Watch everyone who's in like level 30 now. Critical. Mm. Level 20. Everything feels like just slipping away and I just don't have the ability to do much about it. I don't know. See how well that goes. Okay. Okay, that more or less gets what I spent on it back. gets what I uh, spend on the thing back, so I guess it's not that awful. But, eesh. I mean, where? Sounds like they're having fun. I'm going to ignore them. So, level 3 Mesmerize. I'm really starting to need to figure out who I'm going to chomp first. Alright, 
go. Can we go across from here? No. That would be easy. Pembroke should be just up there. Hmm. I think I'm going to start doing a bunch of side quests for everyone else. Okay, how is the people of Pembroke doing? Headache, migraine, headache. I don't have cures for that. Eaten. Tons of people I need to get to. Ugh. Everything I do with the docks just makes it worse. I'm going to have to eat these two. That will drop it into hostile, no doubt. I failed to hint on him. Mm. Ish. Yeah, so many things. Actually, do I still have the hints for them? Um, okay, I need one of each. Good evening. Evening, Dr. Reed. Tell me about your true feelings for Newton. I love him. I'm not ashamed to say it. I swear I picked that one. He's the best thing happened to me. I can't imagine life without him. Why should you be ashamed? Uh, this is illegal technically at the time. Newton sees it differently. Okay. Why were you locked in that sewer? What happened? I went by the canal after an argument with a friend. Got chased by these fucking wankers and had to barricade myself in, despite my claustrophobia. Why did you run? What was the reason for your argument? Newton wanted me to go to a hospital. I can't stand being closed in. It makes me feel like I'm suffocating. Tell me about yeah. your claustrophobia. Has anyone given you an official diagnosis? God, that's what the bloody doctors said. But I don't want to go to a hospital to get checked again. I'll deal with it my own way. Probably not the best way, but eh. Yeah. Oswald, why did you not go to the Pembroke Hospital to seek medical help? I don't trust doctors. All I care about was their careers and processes. I won't be locked in any room again by anyone. Your fear of being trapped is not going to go away by itself. True. You need professional help. I've seen enough butchers in white coats to last a lifetime. Hospitals reek of chemicals and death. What I need is fresh air. Technically true. Mr. Thatcher, do you have a job? No. Since I came back from the war, I spent most of my time and energy just trying to forget. I understand what you mean. I was a soldier too. No. Nobody can truly understand what I've gone through. Questions and hints. Goodbye, Mr. Thatcher. Try to take care of yourself. Okay, turn XP. The other guy is over there. I think I can use the hint for him. Should be grateful. Hello again, Mr. Blight. Good evening, Dr. Reed. You doing your rounds as usual? Yes, I am. How do you feel about Oswald Thatcher? You are more than friends, aren't you? I love him. I love Oswald. We knew we wouldn't survive the war without each other. But I am terrified, Doctor. What frightens you so much? If people find out. Oswald says I'm ashamed, but it ain't that. It's more, well, you know. Never thought I'd love a man. Enjoy yeah. your love. And enjoy life as long as you can, Mr. Blight. Don't let anyone tell you who you should love how you should love them. I appreciate your kind words, sir. But it ain't that easy. Yeah, it is technically illegal at this Don't point in time. Me. You and Oswald were buried alive during the war. Tell me about it. Yeah. Corpses on top of you. It was last summer. 
A shell hit our trench and we were buried for a week. Oswald seemed far more traumatized than you by the event. It wasn't the first time it happened to me. Surviving it again gave me strength. You believe that? Yeah, I believe it. How did you survive for a week? Luckily for us, there were rations and water in the tunnel. It was an outpost, see. Since then, Oswald's not keen on being inside for too long. I don't blame him at all. Okay, I think that's it. Let's see if can I can get another hint at him. War, Mr. Blight. If you want to speak about it, of course. War was. Well, you know, sir. The stench of death everywhere. Your mates lying bleeding in the mud. Just praying to make it through and get home. Bloody nightmare. Did you know Oswald Thatcher before the war? No. We met in the battlefield. I think we were in the same boat to France. We've stuck together ever since. I fought him Usually in World War One, they stuck all the people and uh, lived together together. That way you, know, you could all die together and bury your friends and be traumatized. Yeah. The first time I was wounded, I had to protect the infirmary from hostiles. Twice. Why do you stay here now that Mr. Thatcher's back? It's complicated. Since the war, Oswald's been really nervous with the idea of entering any hospital. And me. I've got my own issues. Can you speak about them? Rats, sir. Even seeing one, they turn me. I just want to run. It's that fear that stopped me from going after Oswald when he left. Okay, you are good to hint. Phobia of rats. What caused your phobia of rats, Newton? It Probably seen them crawl year, over you and eat your friends. Attack. I was trapped for two days in a hole under two dead soldiers. And there were rats. Go on. They started eating me as soon as I dozed. Gnawing at my ears. My fingers. Lips. I couldn't move. I couldn't call for help. I see. No, you don't. You have no idea what it is to wake up buried under bodies. Fucking vermin eating your flesh. Oswald. He found me and saved me. Goodbye, yeah, Mr. Blight. Done. Take care of yourself. I think that's the last hint of from them. So I'm going to go back to playing Doctor Who, everyone, again. Sees anyone around or me to annoy. The Ashbury. It is good to see you again, Jonathan. How are you? I'm better than one might expect, Lady Ashbury. Dr. Swansea has asked me to investigate the recent disturbances in the hospital caused by skulls. Really? What do you mean? You were here. There you are. I discovered the most intriguing skull. An elderly woman answering to the name of old Bridget. And a man who helps them remain hidden in London. Old Bridget? Peculiar name. I've never heard of her. According to old Bridget, skulls can lead a peaceful existence like us. They are even able to nourish themselves by feeding on corpses and the flesh of the dead. How vile. Please, Jonathan, let's change the subject. You do not get to complain about this. You Scouts kill people to London prolong have their own gone life. Into hiding. Both mortals and immortals plot their extermination. Yes. Skulls are the orphans of the vampire society. They are the shame of their genitors. A disgrace to the vampire that created them. There is something ominous closing around me, Lady Ashbury. Something spies upon me from the shadows. Something cruel and wicked. Whatever do you mean, Jonathan? If Sean Hampton and Harriet were not the guilty parties, then who? I saw the bodies and the blood. Other vampires. Has not gone unnoticed, Jonathan. 
Be extremely careful. That's not helpful. If you get in the way of an immortal's plans, they stop being immortal. Do you suspect someone? I don't know, Jonathan. I steer clear of vampire politics, especially whilst hunters roam the city streets. Okay. Goodbye uh, for now, my lady. Not useful. Uh, it's actually getting relatively close to time. Oh, an unknown person. Two unknown people. I'm going to bother them. Good evening, Doctor. Bother, 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 bother. I believe bother. we're going to be working together. Dr. Reed. Dr. Swansea informed us of your arrival, but I could not dare to believe we'd have such good fortune. Such an honor, sir. <laughs> Thank you. And you are... Dr. Strickland. 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 That's what that'll say. Dr. Thoreau Strickland. I'm a great admirer of your work, Dr. Reed. So Goodbye, good. Dr. Strickland. Ping them. So you do well. Bother you. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I believe we're going to be He looks ecstatic. Reed? Yes, I've been informed about your arrival. I'm Waverly Aykroyd. Welcome aboard, I suppose. Does my arrival inconvenience you in some way, Dr. Aykroyd? Let us just say that I don't particularly share Dr. Swans's enthusiasm for hiring you. What we need here are reliable professionals, not overrated dabblers. Oh, aren't we nice? Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. Okay, that's two people. He's got a headache and I can't do anything about it. Good evening, madam. Can I help you? I wasn't My talking to you first. You, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. How can I help your son? I'm Beatrice Goswick, mother of Mortimer Goswick. Mortimer, yeah, I would want to kill myself too. I've heard much of your talents as a physician. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. I think these are the last people. There we are. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I help at all? No. Really? Why are you here then? I don't want to talk. My throat hurts too much. Yeah, I suppose that this pain is the reason you're here. Is someone taking care of you? Interesting yes. bandages. Um, no. Could you at least tell me your name, sir? Mortimer. Mortimer Goswick. There you I go. have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. I think that's the last of everyone I needed to bother here. Oh, no. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. May I help you? I don't know if a third opinion is needed. Your colleagues are already arguing about my condition. I see. Would you mind telling me more about your situation? I'm Harvey Fiddick. All I want is to get me bloody arm fixed properly. Yeah, fair point. Yeah. Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see you later. I will not let you down, my boy. Okay, I think that's everyone in Pembroke. Yep, uh, yep, I killed him earlier, so... Yep, that's all the people. Sepsis, fatigue, I think I have one of each for these. Anemia, headache, fatigue, everybody's dying. Oh. Not going to bother Swansea. I think that was what we'll close the set out with. Me annoying Swansea after I've annoyed a bunch of other people too. Uh, unfortunately, me leveling up uh, certain stats did not give me levels, which is irritating. Uh, where'd you go? Oh, you're in the corner. I didn't see you there. Jonathan, at last. I've been worried sick. Have you solved the case of our poor Sean Hampton? Don't worry, Edgar. The reputation of Pembroke Hospital is secure. Sean Hampton was not the guilty party. Is that true? Oh, good news. Good news indeed. What do you know of the Ascot Club? Uh, not as much as I would like. There have always been rumors about a secret society of vampires operating in the interests of the British Empire. Though I've never met a member. I crossed paths with one. A terrifying creature going by the name of Fergal. He was sent by the Ascalon Club to exterminate the scowls of the East End. By the stole, Jonathan. 
If vampires are eliminating their own progeny, then dark times are upon us. Darker than I've ever witnessed. It's not like people don't go to war, Do you think Mr. Swansea. It's know. not uncommon. Jonathan, our beloved lady is not one for social dalliances, nor the assemblies of dark orders. She's a woman of superior taste and selective acquaintance. Neither of which precludes that. Does the name Old Bridget ring any bells? I've never heard of her. Why? A patient of ours? I must confess, I don't know them all. No, it's just someone I recently met. A fascinating woman. I had thought that perhaps... By the stole, Jonathan, y you've met another vampire. I would appreciate an introduction, if that's the case. I found Harriet Jones. She's much the same old, embittered woman she was, only she's been made a scowl. Her transformation did not go well. Incredible. Well, why not bring her here? Yeah, we I don't want her learn here. so much by studying her condition. It would be fascinating. She could be hateful somewhere else. I doubt that. She can barely move. Perhaps we could learn more about the degeneration of scouts. Perhaps. But she could also belong to a new species. We know so little of the laws that dictate vampire reproduction. Whether an any studies made by your order on the I, subject. again, do not like the scientific uh, method of here. Of. It's supposed to be a mystical curse. I will transmit your discovery to the Brotherhood's primate. He will be delighted. I think that's it for him, yeah. A pleasure, as always, Edgar. Okay, and I'm going to walk back to my room. Not that I'm going to do anything in there. Because I don't have enough XP for anything. I am falling behind in levels. It's not fair. Anything I can loot here? No. Oh, actually, I meant to go uh, check. Um, uh, what's his face? The ambulance driver. See if he's got the uh, parts for uh, weapon upgrades. I'm hoping he does. My bonking stick needs to bonk harder. And also, uh, Clay's hatchet probably is going to be pretty decent. I'm hoping he has stuff to sell. Please have stuff to sell. Good evening, Milt. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. Trade. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Doctor Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Good handle parts. Tr trigger part. Mm. Nothing. Oh well. I may have to look it up on Wiki uh, where that stuff is specifically. This glimmered. Oh, uh, I'm gonna call it there. We've uh, done some more stuff. We've uh, learned a little bit more and uh, advanced the story a bit. So I hope everyone's enjoyed this. We've also kind of wrecked the docks despite my best efforts. <laughs> it's not fair. So I uh, hope everyone enjoyed this. So until next time, uh, bye.